Hello everyone, this is Danny from Three Kingdoms here, and um, in celebration of um, the pre-release of War of the Spark that's going to happen, I think, in a week or so, a couple weeks, I think, a couple weeks, um, we're going to be playing a, uh, a Golgari Planeswalker deck, um, basically featuring all of the, well, most of the Planeswalkers that are in the Golgari colors, um, uh, plus Karn, Sign of Urza, which is a non-colored uh, uh, Planeswalker, um, and we're going to be playing this deck in Arena. Now, um, please uh, watch uh, the video till the end, um, and you will get uh, instructions on how to win your very own booster box of War of the Spark um, once it's released. Um, we are doing a giveaway um, and I think this promotion is going to end um, during pre-release weekend and basically this is your fourth chance of entering for this draw. So basically what you do is you got to like the video, you got to hit be, uh, be a subscriber uh, to the channel and you have to make a comment on this particular video of which um, non-Planeswalker card that you want to play or that you most want to play from War of the Spark. Okay, so you had you had three other chances. I think Saul, um, uh, one of our uh, one of our store uh, managers, he um, made three videos. If you subscribe uh, to the channel and you've liked his three videos as well, um, those are your three uh, uh, earlier chances. This is your fourth chance, uh, so you can enter four times to uh, to to win your bo uh, box of War of the Spark. Okay, so let's go over this uh, this deck fairly quickly. So. Um, because we're in Golgari colors, we're playing a lot of uh, of you know, Varaskas. So we have Varaska Relic Seeker. We have a couple of those. We have Varaska Golgari Queen. Um, uh, because we're in green as well, we're playing Vivian Reeds. Vivian Reeds is a great card. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why are we playing Vivian Reed if we're just playing Planeswalkers? But we also have some creatures in here as well. So we have... Um, and, and plus Vivian Reed is great to destroy enchantments uh, um, and, and, and flying creatures. So we want we want to use Vivian Reed to its um, to its uh, utmost in, uh, in in our matchups. Um, but we do have creatures in here as well. So we have Carnage Tyrants. Okay, we have um, Wayward Swordtooths. Okay, Wayward Swordtooths allows us to play an additional land um, when uh, when when he's out. So basically, we get to ramp uh, to our larger Planeswalkers. Um, and we also have Play Playcrafters. Playcraft after basically is great, um, you know, to kind of clear the board, get rid of our opponents' uh, planeswalkers, um, and uh, and basically allow us to you know to do our thing. Now we also have some creature removal as well. We have a couple of cast downs. We have moment of craving, um, and we also have golden demise. So so for the for the faster decks, for the more aggro decks, golden demise is great. Uh, love playing that card. Um, and uh, I, I think I also mentioned that we we did. did play three copies of Karn, Sign of Urza. It allows us to go through our deck, try to try to get the cards that, that we're looking for. But it also allows us to create uh, Karnstrucks. And, and the whole purpose of having Karnstrucks is so that we can, um, uh, you know, use those creatures to attack our opponent and, and, and as, as an additional win condition. But what makes our Karnstrucks uh, so effective is that we have treasure maps that basically creates treasures to make our Karnstrucks really, really big. So that's a great way uh, to, to win the game as well. And then lastly, um, I have Crucible of Worlds in here. Now, why do I have Crucible of Worlds? Well, we have Crucible of Worlds because um, we want to bring some of our lands back. So I have uh, Memorial to Folly. Basically, I can bring my creatures back from the graveyard. But most key, I think, in this deck is that we have two copies of Evolving Wilds. Evolving Wilds um, is great because um, with Crucible, I can actually you know play Evolving Wilds, sack it, Bring a card in, you know, from my deck, um, and then play Evolving Wilds again from my graveyard, and then sack it, and then bring in a second land. So basically, it helps us thin our deck uh, very, very quickly. Helps us ramp, um, and um, yeah. So that's the deck. So let's go ahead, play a couple games, um, and, and see how we do. All right. We are playing Golgari Planeswalkers. <clears throat> Now, um, I've played this deck um, a number of times. Um, the, the, the weakness, I would say, of this deck is against control. Um, we have a, a tough time. I mean, 
you know, we have carnage tyrants, yeah, but um, if we don't hit, our, hit your carnage tyrants, it's very difficult to, to get our planeswalkers on the board. If we're playing against, you know, Azorius control, if we're playing against uh, Sultai control, any any one of those um, those controly uh, decks, it's very difficult for us to kind of fire off some of our, uh, our value cards. Uh, now, the good thing is, is in Arena, there's, there's very little um, control matchups um, that, that we're up against. Um, so, so I mean, this deck does fairly well. I mean, I, I think um, I was like four and six or something like that. So, you know, for a janky deck, I think it's pretty good. But the whole reason why we're playing this, I think, is mainly because uh, of what we're playing because of the Planeswalkers, right? We want Planeswalkers, Planeswalkers, Planeswalkers. So let's take a look at this hand. Um, what we want, you know what? We have a good land base. Uh, we have early removal uh, to build up to our, our Relic Seeker. It's a slow hand, but... I think I'm gonna keep it, especially because I'm going first. I'm gonna keep this. And we also have a Carnage Tyrant too. So let's keep this. And let's play an Evolving Wilds. And bring in a Forest. Right, easy, right? So basically I'm just thinning my deck so that I can draw a lot of action. And I have Crucible World, so that I can bring Evolving Wilds back. So let's play Overgrown. No, let's play a uh, Woodland Cemetery, and then leave up Cast Down, <clears throat> just in case. Just in case they they cast a creature, and they don't cast a creature. That's that's fine. Um, so let's play a Swamp and Crucible Worlds. Okay. Oh, they're just doing damage to our face. Yikes, 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 yikes. Now, um... No, let's thin our deck. Let's thin our deck, let's get a Swamp. Wow, they're just gonna cast their hand. Wow, wow, I'm going to, oh, well, should I decline? I take four, it's not lethal. Um, I mean, it is if they have two burn spells in their hands. Oh, this is a tough one. I'm, I'm gonna decline. Treasure map, treasure map. Let's see Evolving Wilds. Let's get a forest. Cast treasure map. We don't need that, I don't think. Oh, we might. No, I think they're just, they're just doing damage to the face. Wow, pure burn deck in standard. Look at that. Wow, they do have a Get Me Without a Runner. Maybe I should have kept it. Maybe I should have kept the Ritual of Soot. I'm gonna have to decline. Yeah, this deck is too fast. Too fast for for our, for our hand, for our um, for our deck. I mean, uh, let's. Do this. Let's cast Carnage Tyrant, but I, I I think we're dead anyway. I think we're we're just too late, especially with their with their burn damage. And they're drawing all these cards. Yeah, we're dead. We we are so dead. Yep. Well, let's try this moment of craving.
cast down. Yeah, the problem is we don't have we don't have life gain in this deck, and uh, unless you you're, you have life gain, no attacks. Unless you have life gain, it's very difficult um, to 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 beat like a burn style deck. Yep, and they're gonna skewer the critic, or they're gonna. Well, what, what's he doing? Come on. There he is. There's skewer the critic. All right. Good game, opponent. Good game. All right. Next. Next, we actually didn't get to do uh, what we wanted to do, but um, yeah, let's try again. I just want one win. Let's just get one win, <laughs> and then um, yeah, and I'll, I'll be happy. One of the things that I probably could put in this deck is Vraska's Contempt. But again, it's a very slow, uh, very slow way of, um, uh, of, of gaining two life or gaining life. Um, I mean, in those colors, you know, in standards, not quite sure what, what, what card would, uh, would do well to give us life. I mean, we have Moment, moment of Craving. <clears throat> we'll go first. I'm going to keep this. <clears throat> I'm going to play a Woodland Cemetery. See if we need to remove anything. Discovery. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna play the sword tooth and we're gonna be able to play an additional land. So we're gonna play an overgrown tomb, tapped. And then next turn we can get our Karn down. We can get two Karns down. <clears throat> it's gonna give us a, another Karn. Nope, another land. Which we can play. Pass the turn. Now the sword tooth can't attack. It, it, it needs the city's blessing before it can attack. So um, we're almost there, right? We're almost there. Not if they've Vrasis content us. <laughs> Vivian Reed. Yes, we're kind of slowly doing it. We're doing what we want to do. Okay, so let's play the land. Let's play Vivian Reed. Yes, Planeswalkers. Planeswalkers. Lots and lots of value. And we have two, uh, we have removal if, if they're casting any creatures. Now, they're playing mono black. Oh, all right. So which one do we get rid of? We get rid of uh, Karn, of course, because we, we have a second one in hand. So, what do we do? Well, let's say, let's let's use let's destroy this enchantment. Destroy the eldest re re reborn. Okay, and then, um, well, we can play Karn, and we can play the Wayward Sword Tooth. We can play the Overgrown Tombs, enters tapped. What do we have in exile? We have a Karn and a Vraska's Contempt. Yeah, I, I think I want a Vraska's Contempt. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I, I, I want removal. Yeah, that's, having, having removal in my hand is good. Okay. Another Eldest Reborn. Doom Whisperer. Well, we have a cast down for that. We also have Vivian Reed for that too. This is why I love Vivian Reed. Vivian Reed in standard is amazing. What? Niv Mizzet? 
What in the janky of janks are they playing? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's first let's cast down Doom Whisperer. <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, and our opponent gives up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That that was interesting. Niv Mizzet. What? All right. Let's go one more game. Um, yeah. I mean, I know a lot a lot of Magic players. They really hate playing Planeswalkers. And, and the funny thing is, is that whenever I log on to Magic Online, I find um, uh, like players that have their, you know, you know how, you know, they have notes beside their name saying what they like to play, what they don't like to play, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I go first. I'm going to keep, the only reason I'm going to keep is I'm going I'm to, because I have two treasure maps, I'm going to keep this. Um, so yeah, uh, they, in their notes, they say, no playing Planeswalkers. I don't want to play against Planeswalkers. It's like, come on, dude. Like, it's, Planeswalkers have been around since, you know, like years. Like, and I, I don't understand why people just can't accept it. Perfect. Golden Demise is great. I just need to make sure that, uh, Pelcletta doesn't grow too big. Mm-mm. Moment of Craving is good too. Um, but I think I need lands, right? Ugh, so hard. I think I need lands. Okay, second Woodland Cemetery. Treasure map. <clears throat> And then next turn, I can Golden Demise. So I'm not going to stop on my upkeep. I'm going to Golden Demise next turn. All right. Come on, Pelt Collector. Cast another Pelt Collector. But he's got three mana on the board, four mana on the board. Then the next creature is going to be pretty big, I think. Oh, okay. That's fine. So bye-bye Pelt Collector and bye-bye Lanoir. Oh, great. Excellent. Golden Demise you. And let's scry. Um, no, I think we need lands. <coughs> I mean, we do get the flip treasure map. So, I mean, and I guess from that we can we can cast like uh, Vivian Reed or Vraska, but I wonder. What are you gonna cast? Creature? Yep. Creature, creature, creature. So this now so now I think I can I can I'm gonna cast Vraska. It doesn't have so it, all, all it has is Riot. Whoops, main Vraska. I'm gonna create a, a pirate. I mean, I could de destroy that, you know, rhythm of the wild as well. But let's just uh, let's just go ahead and create a blocker, and let's see what uh, what our opponent does. I think next turn I can I can cast Vivian Reed or, or whoever, and then uh, or, or or use Veraska to destroy rhythm of the wild. And let's stop on our upkeep. <clears throat> Ooh, ooh, spicy. So he's got haste. Both at Veraska. Um, I mean, I have to block, right? Right? Yeah, I have to block. Okay. Scry. Do we want another land? No. Draw. 
and we get another line anyway, main. Um, let's play Vivian Reed. So, okay, so now I think what we do is we use Vraska to destroy a goblin. We use Vivian Reed to destroy Rhythm of the Wild. And we pass a turn. So now he's got to choose um, you know, which Planeswalker to, uh, to get rid of. Yeah, if I was him, I would probably get rid of Raska. Of course, he's got another creature that's got uh, Riot. So both our Planeswalkers are gone. Oh, man. Ritual of Soot. Ritual of Soot. Come on. Let's treasure map. Vraska's Contempt is good. So let's draw that. Let's use Treasure Cove. I just want one Ritual of Soot. Come on, Ritual of Soot. Two Vraska's Contempts. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get rid of one of these dudes. And gain a couple of life. All right. <clears throat> well, our opponent's uh, drawing lands, which is good. We're not going to take four, though. Now, here's my Varaska. Should I have Varaska growth chamber? No, he's going to adapt right away, I think. Yeah. Darn it. Yep, we know. I'm going to take four. So a treasure map, cast down. Yeah, let's keep it. What do we draw? Sorry, not what do we draw. What do we treasure cove? Ritual? Urgh. So we cast down Growth Chamber Guardian. We Veraska's Contempt Grow Spell Speaker. Spell Breaker, Spell Speaker. He's gonna be able to he's gonna be able to cast Growth Chamber Guardian next turn and still do the uh, the ad adapt. But that's okay. I'll, I'm looking for like a board wipe and then maybe some planeswalkers. To stabilize. That's good that he that my opponent has lands to still to play, um, but he's going to play the growth chamber guardian um, and then adapt right away. Right. <clears throat> I mean that's what that's the same thing to do. I mean the nice thing is is that we get three draws um, to find removal. And we take one. Crucible. Okay, draw one was bad. Draw two. What do we get? Okay. Let's draw another one. Draw three. What do we get? Carnage Tyrant. Ooh, big bad Carnage Tyrant. Let's do that. We don't have any lands in, in our graveyard. So really our Crucible of Worlds isn't that uh, isn't that worthwhile. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, grow your growth chamber, guardian. Does he? Where's his fourth one? That's his fourth one. Okay, so he's got no more left. He can't attack. Nah, I didn't think so. Moment of craving. Um, let's draw. 
Come on, ritual of soot. Well, that's not bad. Two waywards. That's actually pretty good. And I'm going to attack with Carnage Tyrant. If he double blocks with Growth Chamber, I can... That's actually not a bad trade. I mean, unless I want to... Unless I want to f wait for the Ritual of Soots. No, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm not going to attack yet. So right now you can see the deck is working without the planeswalkers in play. Um, so it's still we still have alternate win conditions. We're able to cast creatures and basically put up a, a pretty stable board state. Um, I'm just wondering when this is gonna they're gonna catch up to us. That's all. Okay, that's fine. I think I'm gonna use the moment of craving now on Growth Chamber Guardian. Well, let's see what, what they do first. Yeah. Uh no 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 no. We wait until he we wait until he adapts before we, we, we moment of craving. Ooh, almost made a boo-boo. Almost made a boo-boo. There's my ritual of soots. But the problem though is uh my wayward sword tooth uh get get um get de destroyed as well. <laughs> Uh, Nikes. Um, okay. You know what? Let's attack with just the sword tooths and see if they block. If not, we get some free damage in, right? And then we're going to ritual anyway. Interesting. Just let it through. Come on, just let it through. Okay. That is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Mm hmm. So that's a free damage. And then we're just going to ritual. <laughs> and let's just get our Crucible of Worlds in there. All right. It's nice that I still have my moment of craving um, to keep up. All right. What are you going to do, opponent? Legion War Boss. Okay, lock you. And I guess I'm going to attack. And then this turn, I think I'm going to... Ah! Oh, boo! I'm going to have to deal with two of those dudes. Ah! Oh, man, I need, I need another moment of... Uh, another Ritual of Soot. I need another Ritual of Soot. Come on! Ah! Uh. 
Oh, he made a mistake. He did. He made a mistake. So I'm going to moment of craving this Legion War boss. All right. Okay, so I think we're going to attack with our Carnage Tyrant. And we win. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so that's um, Golgari Planeswalkers, right? Golgari's, Golgari Planeswalkers. Um, so it's a kind of fun deck. Um, that's, uh, you know, you know, you saw me struggle with it playing against that, you know, burn deck. Um, again, you're going to struggle with it when you're playing against control. It's great against mid range. Um, it's great against other like creature based decks. Um, even like the fast, you know, the 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 aggro creature decks. Uh, it's pretty good against that because it, 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 if you have your ritual of soot in hand, um, you know, it's, you know, basically you just uh, clear the board and, and you kind of win the game. But um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. Yes. So again, um, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and put a comment um, in the video in the, in the section below, basically telling me uh, which non Planeswalker card from War of the Sparks that, that, that you like the most. Okay. Once you do that, you will be entered in to win a box of War of the Spark. Um, and if you want to enter in three additional times, go go to our channel and watch um, the the three spoiler videos that Saul did, um, and then uh, like that like those videos and make comments in, in those videos as well to enter in at least four times um, to give you a chance to win uh, a box of War of the Spark. Okay. This is Danny from Three Kingdoms Games signing off and we'll see you again soon.